Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in finding out what prevents awesome, successful, sexy women from experiencing love, well, stick around, because I'll be sharing why this happens on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to you.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm very excited to be sharing with you three top reasons why awesome women don't experience love. And uh, for your just trivia information, <laughs> this is take number 35, at least for me, of doing this video. Uh, the final, final draft that I have for this, uh, I just recognized a few minutes ago that I my microphone was off, so there was no audio. So here is me on take 30 whatever <laughs> of this thing. So first reason why amazing women don't experience love is they lie to themselves in order to avoid experiencing pain. And I absolutely get it. Your nervous system is wired to help you survive and to help you avoid pain. The challenge when you subdue the pain, when you numb the pain, and you tell yourself that the situation you're in is not so painful, that it's not so bad, that you're kind of okay, when in reality, you're really inside wanting to burst open and wanting to love someone and wanting to, be, to experience the deepest level of love, but you tell yourself that it's not so important and you tell yourself that whatever you're going through right now is not so bad, the challenge with that is that it significantly lowers the drive for you to take action. And with that, when you lower the drive to take action, you stay stuck in a place that is painful yet comfortable. So it's what I elegantly label a clusterfuck. <laughs> and it's a clusterfuck because you want to change, but at the same time, if you were to change, you'd have to get uh, uncomfortable and it just stay stuck. So second reason why a lot of women who have amazing things going on in their lives don't get this level of connection that they want is because on paper, they may have things, they have accomplishments, they have a career, they have, but they're not really feeling the passion and they're not experiencing and expressing the passion into their life. And uh, that creates a very low level of connection with men, that creates a low level of connection with themselves, that creates a low level of being in love with themselves also. So if you want to know how to change this the quickest, there's beyond any strategies or techniques on connecting with men, connect to your passion, connect to things that make you feel alive, connect to things that make you feel excited, Connect to things that make you feel challenged. Connect to things that make you grow. Connect to things that make you feel scared. But if you do those things, if you connect to a passion, then creating connections and attracting and inspiring men becomes significantly and exponentially easier. But again, a lot of women are in this place that is either numb uh, and apparently not painful, even though it's really painful inside, and that usually <laughs> turns into a lack of passion. Third one is very, very important, and I mentioned it last because it's probably more, one of the most important things, reasons, patterns that I've identified that prevent women from experiencing love, and that's being unwilling to pay the price. Being unwilling to pay the price could be being unwilling to say no to a dude that is not what you want, but is robbing you of the kind of energy that you want to experience with someone else. Being unwilling to pay the price may mean for you not risking again, not risking getting your heart broken, not risking getting known, not risking expressing your truth, not risking meeting more men. That's getting uncomfortable as part of the price you have to pay. The ultimate price that you have to pay if you want to experience this level of connection that you had once and you lost or that you've never had is getting not a little bit, a fuckload more uncomfortable than you've ever been. Now, I'm not just asking you to get uncomfortable for the sake of being uncomfortable, but the things that require that create and sustain a relationship is being vulnerable, being courageous, speaking your truth, creating more connections. All those things require for you to get uncomfortable. So part of that is, as I said, being willing to do more. Part of getting uncomfortable, part of being willing to pay the price is getting the insights, the knowledge, the coaching, whatever it is that you're lacking right now that you've been unwilling to get on your own so that you can m minimize the time frame and not have to reinvent the, the, <laughs> the wheel uh, and suffer unnecessarily. Being unwilling to pay the price sometimes is just being unwilling to sit down and decide what are the standards that you want to have for yourself first and foremost and for a man. And being unwilling to do that because it's uncomfortable 
has you where you are not sure what's acceptable and unacceptable, so you take and receive shit from guys that you shouldn't. So there you have it. The antidote to this is pretty simple. It's not easy, but simple. Number one is being much more honest with yourself, even when it hurts. Even when being honest means that you see that you're far away from what you want, but that stretching of the reality that you have versus the reality that you want makes you take a lot more action. Number two antidote is connecting to shit that makes you feel happy, connecting to things that make you feel passionate, taking more risks. Number three is getting more uncomfortable. At whatever level you identify that it is that you need to get uncomfortable and being willing to pay the price. That's pretty much it. I hope you find this helpful, useful, insightful. If you do, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, underneath this video, under the description of this video, you'll see a link that uh, somewhere on your screen as well that allows you to sign up to a webinar that I'm hosting where you will learn how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less, super powerful stuff, and it's absolutely free. If you have a question for me, place a comment on this video and I'll reply to you personally or create a video just for you.